Hey Ron Burton is back and we're playing Reign of Kings. I thought I'd give this a go because I actually play it casually. So we're going to jump straight in and see what sort of mischief we can indeed get up to. So I'm not going to spend too long on creating my character because as you can see, I'm fairly stunning as it is. But there's a couple of basic things I want to do, like wear a bra. Perhaps not. Um, let's change um, our face a little bit. We have many an option, black or white. Um, I think I'll stay with white. Let's have a look at a good... Yeah, I think let's let's pick out a masculine masculine voice. Yes, I believe that's going to be nice and easy for us. Right, let's change the body a little bit. Yeah, I don't want to be a massive giant. I've got good shoulders. I like good shoulders. Yep, make that a bit skinnier. I must have a massive head. Just call it the ego. Well, whatever you want to call it. That's what we're going to do. Um, I'm fine with that. Let's just quickly change the hairstyle. Oh, that was a very nice mullet. Very Saturday Night Feverish, crossed with Jamie Lannister. Oh, we'll keep it. Right, so what are we going to be called? I think Burton the Bold will suffice. Uh, let's uh, just make sure it's all correct. Yep, I am happy with that. Um, yeah, shall we No out or hang on? We need to do a banner that's gone in still fear, and as much as three chicks or one chick would be fearsome, I, I need something. I need something a little bit more. And nothing strikes terror into the heart of an opponent like a knight on a rocking horse. Yeah. So that's what we're going to go with. We're going to be a knight on a rocking horse. I'm going to be Burton the Bold. And um, in the moment, what I'm going to do is just have a look for a server. And then through the magic of editing, we are going to be in the game. Um, hope you guys enjoy this. It's something a little bit new. And apologies for the shitty roleplay. Okay, so here we are, we are on the beach. Burton the Bold has spotted some fish. Um, I've just opened up my inventory, I've already collected some minor bits and bobs there, and we've decided today that our goal is to become the king, or the prince, the prince of woods. Yeah, we'll become the prince, because there can only be one king, and we are not he. So, let's get out our trusted club, and we're going to go over, and we're actually going to harvest a little bit. So you bear with me here. If you're wondering why the hell we need to go ahead and uh, stick our head through a tree and collect some wood, it's because we're kind of in a thong. Yeah, that's not good. So we're going to collect these, and through the magic of editing, when we come back, I am actually going to have quite a bit of wood. Okay, so we've got all the wood that we need. As you can see here, we've got 167. We are currently, though, looking for crabs. Because crabs are going to help us get our flax. So, I mean, we can go and try and get a few more bits and bobs from the middle of the wood. But I can't seem to find any crabs. There is a base down there on the right, which hopefully you can see. There you go. Um, so, let's see what we can find, if anything. All right. Da -da. Where the hell are they all? I keep my eye out in case there's any wolves or bears. Oh, this man is clearly uh, asleep. Okay, we'll, we'll sneak past him. Good day, sir. Alright, what have we got? Anything at all? Hmm. What the hell has happened here? Why is everyone sleeping on the beach? Hmm. There must have been a... A mass burial. It looks like these men have been wrapped in wrapped in shrouds. Yes. Yes. They've gone to the drowned gods. Oh, there's another base there. Oh, impressive music. Alright, calm down. I'm only picking flowers. God. Right, I've had enough of this. We, we're going to go inland to see if we can find anything. Oh, there's a guy there as well. Oh, don't run away! Oh, my words! What I wouldn't give for an arrow. Uh oh, wolf! Shh! Oh no! Collected the wrong thing. 
Go on, Wolf, I'll take you out. Uh oh. Oh my god! In the face! Uh oh, this is not looking good! Burton is so bold! Oh, he's running! Quick, after him! After him! I, I can't! I've, I've injured myself! Uh, this is not good. This is gonna be the slowest chase in history. Come on! Can do it! Can do it! Turn around, wolf! You're mine! <laughs> Come back here, wolf! You cannot hide! Oh my god! Things can... Uh, what? Where's he gone? Is he down there? There you are, wolf. I see you. Oh, he's running! Come on. Come on. I will fight you, wolf. Are you stuck? Yes! Perhaps we can catch him. Oh, I'll take them as well while I'm here. Oh, no, he's free. God damn it. Yes! Victory! Oh, get down! You scared me. Don't want to break my spear? I shall carve you to cinder. Oh, that was the slowest chase in history. Anything we can do to get close. We're going to have to go and get some more wood though now, and that's going to be somewhat problematic. Come on. Right, what do we get from that? Oh. We got some blood, some meat, some leather hide, um, we didn't get anything there. Oh, we actually got some flax. We've got ten flax. What can we actually make them? Let's have a look. We can make some gloves. We can't even make any pants yet, right? So, quickly, back over to the tree. And if we see anyone, when we're not fighting wolves, of course we will talk to them, because that's what Bert and the Bull does. We Spends the whole first episode talking to trees, and let me see how we get on. Right, so that's it. That's enough. That's enough tree bashing for today. Time to uh oh no, what we shot is flax again. My words. Well, I tell you what, let's get ourselves some nice shoes, shall we? Oh yeah, and let's drop them on. Oh look at that! Look at that! Oh yeah, right. So we've recovered a little bit now. We've actually picked up some carrots as well. So you can see in the bottom right hand corner, we do have our food bar. So I'm actually going to have a look at a carrot. Let's get that eaten. Um, so we're recovering a little bit. I'm not going to eat all of these. I'll probably eat four of them. Yeah, that'll do. Right. Is that someone there? No, it's a rock. Okay, let's head on up and see what we can find. Um, what would be good if we could find that stag? We can get some more flax off of that. You never know, you're probably able to get off of some of these plants. And I just don't bloody know, I'm just running past them. I'll collect what I can running through it, see if we can get anything. But I think I'm just going to end up with a bundle of twigs. Oh, what's this? Someone died here? Oh, so he sticks. Hmm. 25 sticks. Someone, someone dies here. Carrying sticks. Oh, it's getting dark now. <gasps> the kingdom! So upon that rock, sits the king, and here I am, the prince of wooden shoes. And there's a man in the grass, who I hope is okay. Mm, yes. Where is everyone? That's what I want to know. Ooh, what's this? Very nice. Um, we'll get a bit of vantage point. Let's get up on this hill and we'll try and orientate ourselves and see where we are there. 
try and run for anything that we can. And obviously keep our eye out for anyone else who looks even better. Oh, there's a house over here. Let's go visit, see what's there. Hopefully someone's home because the lights are on. Hello? The wrong button. Hello? Hello? No one's in. Hmm. So I think I'm going to wander this land for some more time. Oh. Things just got interesting. So it looks like we've got another base here on the right. Is there anyone here? Hello? There's some movement. Oh, did I? Oh my god, shadows. Ah! Hello, sir. What can I do for you? Welcome to the heart of oh. the spiritualist. Oh, thank you. Hello. Welcome to my home. Don't mind the man in the cage. He's only a sacrifice. Ah, I was wondering. Yes, I have to sacrifice to my god, so he's been chosen. Well, he's a lucky one. He is. The cabbages will be most fruitful because of it. Just gonna freak him out now by not talking. Just look at his cabbages. So what can the spiritualist do for you? Well, I am new to this land and I've just got wooden shoes. I, I just I just demand some clothing. Clothing. Mm. This is all I have. Clothing. Well, if you bring some flax, some ferns, and some flowers, we can arrange some clothing. Oh, that would be most welcome, sir. Well, the swamp is over there where the f ferns are, and there's flowers and flax around the fields. And then you bring it here, and we'll make you something to wear. Maybe something oh. spiritual. <gasps> spiritual, you say? Like me. Okay, I think I, I shall go in quest for this flax you talk of. I shall return. May the cabbages grow large. And may your cabbages grow large, sir. They already are, but thank you, good man. Um that was that was somewhat awkward roleplay. Maybe maybe I should think of a, a story. You know, something I can actually tell people. So he says that we can got ferns over here and apparently flax is in the fields. So I think I'm going to go and I'm going to actually try and find some bits and bobs. So daytime is here. I am currently hiding in a pond, <laughs> drinking some water because over there is a bear. Thankfully, he's heading the other way, which is always good for me. So I think we're going to... um. Take another drink, pretend it's alcohol, make sure that our uh, our only possession, our wooden shoes, are not rotting in this lake. Let's get out of here. So last night we met ourselves a priest, and this priest of cabbages mainly, we've got ourselves some ferns, uh, told us that there was uh, plenty of flax in this particular area. So we are actually having a look. I don't know what we'd use these ferns for, but he actually had some kind of cape. And I'm very interested. I'll have a cape. Uh, I don't think we're going to walk the same way the bear did, so we'll walk around here. <gasps> Shh! Come here, moose. Now, if we can catch this guy, this will be good, because he did say that we would need... Oh shit. Oh, don't run away. 
It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay, Moose. Can't throw this spear. He's making some very strange sounds. Shh. There, there, Moose. Going twice then. Don't run! Don't run! God damn it! Shh. Come back! Can't hide up there. We see you. We see you. Stop running! Yeah, you can't run now. Sit. We got him! Let's hack him to death. So we got some bone, we got some meat. Some fat as well. Is it a different way? Do we get different things if we do it this way? No, it's still fat. And we get some bone. Oh! 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 That's horrible! Oh my god! What a mess! All over my new shoes! God damn it! Shh. There, there! Hello, Moosey! Ah, oh, you swine! Hello? Ah, hello! Yes? Sorry to bother you, um... I'm new, and I've no idea what flax looks like. Could you direct me? Follow me. Is that, is that? Thank you, kind sir. You're a gentleman. See this white, white bush on the ground? Oh yes. This is flax. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. There's a lot of it in that direction. Towards the king sword. Ah, you are good, sir. Thank you very much. Not a problem. So, I think we ran past about... I think we ran past about eight or nine of them. There's another one here. God, how can you miss them? Look at them! Right, so now we know what it is. We're fine. We'll be able to do some things. That's, that's you. You are flax, aren't you? Yes, I thought so. I don't know what this voice is about, by the way. I, I, I don't know. So if we head up here, we can see. Oh, there's the king. Well, not the king. The castle, and the king is in the castle. But that's not where we're headed. You know exactly where we're headed. We're gonna go back and try and see the spiritualist. But that's where we're gonna end this episode. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed something a little bit differently. You know exactly what to do. Raise those thumbs and please leave some comments. Cheers.